Battle City is over and done with. Now it's time for us to tackle all of this. If you did not get this as like on the PS4 versions, then this is then this would probably be the last one. But now it's time we go through waking the dragons with a new evil. After Yugi Moto's victory over Merrick, Yugi collected all three Egyptian god cards. However, it would not remain in his possession for long. Panic ensued as real monsters appeared all over the world. Worse still, Yugi's Egyptian god cards were stolen by three unknown assailants. No! How? Can this have happened? Grandpa! Are you alright? Yugi! They're gone! Who's gone, Grandpa? Your cards! Your strongest cards! The god cards? Who did this? Yugi and his friends were at a loss on who could have stolen the cards when a package arrived in the mail. Hey kids, this came in the mail. Who's it from? I'm not sure. My eyesight's not what it used to be. Let's see here. From the office of Maximilian Pegasus. No, not Pegasus! What should we do? We should hear what he has to say. After all, Pegasus did invent dual monsters. And did you think he has something to do with what's been going on? Perhaps. Let's play the tape. Greetings, Yugi boy. I'm sure you're aware that dual monsters are suddenly running amok all around this world of ours. I know who's really behind it. The only catch is it's too risky to leave you any information on this tape. So that means you'll have to come see me in person. Say what? There's no way we can trust that guy. What do you think, Yugi? Let's go. Pegasus may be our only hope. That's true. All right, then I'm going. And I'll be right there by your side, pal. Count me in too. Me too! He is flying us in their first class, right? Thanks, guys. Back in the ancient lair, the three card roffers, Raphael, Alistair, and Velen, met with their master, Darts. We located the Pharaoh Master. Unfortunately, we weren't able to capture his soul. But I never come back empty-handed. I present these cards to you. Excellent. The three Egyptian god cards. At long last, I finally possess the supreme force necessary to awaken the great beast. The time has arrived, my friends. Finally, after 10,000 years, the great Leviathan shall arise again. Once I replenish you with enough souls, you shall inherit the strength to swallow the earth. No one will stop us. No one. I'll find the Pharaoh. And this time, I'll make sure we drain his power to feed the great beast, sir. Why don't you try listening? It's really a wonderful skill. If you master it, you'll realize that we need more than the Pharaoh's soul. Then we'll deal with the others too. I'll take Kaiba. I also got my eye on someone. That feisty little blub Joey Wheeler. He should be fun to take a pot. The Pharaoh and his friends are on their way to speak with the one we've been watching. Just make certain that you reach them before they do. Pegasus? And to think I call you a bad listener. Now go see Pegasus at once. When Yugi and his friends arrived in Industrial Illusions in America, they were not greeted by Pegasus, but rather another familiar face. Hello? Pegasus? This place is completely empty. I suspect the thieves that were after Pegasus may have already found him, and if that's the case, I'm sure they're expecting us. My, is that you? I'm not my, at least not the mine you knew. What? You heard me. All right, gang. Say hello to Pegasus. Uh, question? Did you do that to him? Look, you better start talking. What's the matter, Wheeler? Did your little reunion with mine not go as well as you expected it to? And you, why are you keeping these guys all for yourself, mine? Mind your own business, you lackey. These geeks are mine, so deal with it. Geeks? But where are your friends, mine? Please, mine, tell me this is all a joke. You're on our side, remember? I was never a part of your little playgroup. And now I'm going to break you apart one by one. And Wheeler, I'm starting with you. You are holding me back from achieving true power. So say hello to my real friend, the Seal of Ori Calcos. Oh no, not this. My, let's talk. There's got to be another way to settle this. Sorry, hun. Whoever loses the duel, loses their life. We reach Waking the Dragons. I know that this was not in the manga, because after Battle City, they went straight for the ceremonial duel. My guess this was done because, yeah, the manga was falling behind, they needed something to pad out. Similar to the virtual world stuff.
Okay, now let's get started with Marauding Captain. Put him in attack mode. That's good. Now you got a Panther Warrior. Now let's see what Mai has up her sleeves. Excuse me, but may you please drop off? Drop that card, please. Thank you. She has nothing. What gives? Oh, Fiber Jar, AKA the one card that has been banned. I'm not kidding. That card was banned. A banned card for a reason. Nice, I only got 100 damage. And I can't attack unless I sacrifice. You have to tribute a monster in order for it to attack. And Panther Warrior is only effective if you have more monsters. More monsters means the tribute. And now terraforming. Orikalikos no Kekai. Oh dear God. Oh dear God, no. Yep. This only. Okay, let's explain a bit more detail. Nah. How about I do is this instead? Magical arm shield. I'll take this, and you'll be taking the blow. Yeah, wasted! Harpy Harpist? All right, let me read on Silivory Calcos. Is this completely different from what I would normally expect? Yep, all monsters you control, while you control your opponent cannot control. If this card is activated, destroy all special summon monsters. You can't special summon monsters from the extra deck. Well, you know what? I may as well take advantage. I'll be taking your Harpy's Pet Dragon, thank you very much. Yeah, guess what? I'm allowed to wipe you out now. Yeah, I, re I sacrificed my Time Wizard to attack. Yeah, you keep summoning monsters, you will have to deal with my Harpy's Pet Dragon. And you can only activate the Seal of Orichalcos once per duel. You start off with a Harpy Channeler. Oh goody, I get two I get two cards. And another pot of greed. There's a reason why they limit this. Now what do you know? I summon copycat and activate its effect. Target Harpy Channeler. And then add this. And then add this. Graceful dice. Roll the dice. Five. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, because it's original attack strength. Right? Though in the anime, it did not end the way it did. It ended in a no contest, but in the case of this, it ended with our victory. Sorry, Mai. You chose the wrong crowd. I can't lose. I can't go back there. I gave up everything just to be a winner. Hey, my, can't lose. Won't go back there. Have to win. Oh well, she's lost it. Valen, what are you doing? With this fragment of the Orichalco stone, I unlock the seal. Joey, are you all right? Joey, what were you thinking, Valen? You betrayed Master Darts and risked your own life. And you mean to tell me you did all that just so you can save some girl, Valen? She's not just some girl. Where's my? Did those punks take her? Guess so. Yeah, she's gone. Oh no! I was so close! I'll get you back, my. Yeah, my went through a lot. And it was not pretty. Now, Seto versus Alistair. Deja duel.
As monsters appeared all over the city, the public accused Kaiba and Kaiba Corp for these monster sightings. I think someone's trying to make a fool out of me. I've worked too hard repairing the reputation of this company. This has to stop. Seto, check out our database. There's someone out there that's buying up every share of our company. Mokuba, you're right. If those numbers are accurate, almost half of Kaiba Corp was just bought by one person, and they're still buying, but how can that be? What are we gonna do? We have to stop them. If they buy any more shares, they can take control of the entire company. Wait, there's only one person who's capable of something like this. Pegasus. Sato and Mokuba went to Duelist Kingdom to confront him. Show yourself, Pegasus. <laughs> Your lack of patience never fails to amuse me. You're as irritating as ever. What's the deal, Pegasus? I just haven't been myself lately. In fact, I mean that quite literally. What's going on? Surprise! I've waited for this day a long time, Kaiba Boy. Identify yourself. Alistair's the name, Kaiba Boy. Now let's duel. This spell card's about to change everything. Activating Seal of Orikalkos. What's that? Explain yourself now. We're trapped in here until the duel's over. Then once I crush you, I'll be able to get out. Of course, you on the other hand, won't be quite as lucky as myself, Kaiba Boy. What do you mean? When you lose, your soul will be locked away for all eternity. Let my brother out. You have no idea who you're messing with. Sure I do. I'm messing with a greedy little punk who's just as pathetic as his old man. What did you just say to me? No one compares me to my stepfather and gets away with it. He was a worthless snake. Like you, my family business has nothing to do with you. Guess again, your family business has everything to do with me. It was seven years to go today. A day I'll never forget. The tanks came and took my brother. I soon found out who was responsible. Go Zaburo Kaiba. Your father did this to me. Now you run as evil empire, so it's your fault too. There's a lot more to it than that. I'm not kidding. There is a lot more. If you don't believe me, watch Waken the Dragons. And you get to see the backstories of all three. Raphael, Alistair, and Valen. Troubled individuals in their own right. Ended up being part of Darts' gang because, well, they didn't have a choice. Now the only thing I need is to get my hands on it. Let's start off with a Y Dragon Head. That'll end it here. And he starts with Pot of Greed. And he summons a Surge Striker. Well, wow. And he had a Blue Eyes White Dragon from the get-go. That's, that wasn't what I wanted, but wait. Let me activate Monster Reborn and summon White Dragon Head. Next, I activate its effect, equipping White Dragon Head as an equip spell, which gives it 600 extra attack points. I need X Dragon Head in order to summon XYZ. Very good. Now it has more than enough strength. And that's something Chaz Princeton, a.k.a. Manjome, would do. Now to summon a second Z metal tank. Soldier at Dark World. Does he have so does he have Soldier Revolt? He has to have Soldier Revolt. Now to activate this effect and equip it. Use of it. 
I'll be taking your Search Striker. Since it's a, since it can destroy monsters, I can destroy monsters without completely, well, without forcing it to flip up. Now attack this. Yes, activate the effect of Search Striker. And attack your life points directly. Sorry, Alistair, but if I had a trap card with me, Doom Virus Dragon would wipe the floor with you. Yeah, but in the Japanese version, it's referred to as Death Virus Dragon. You take no battle damage. If this card is destroyed, select one face monster you control and take control of it. Time to separate! Hmm. Well, I may as well use Y Dragon Head. Must be special summon. Well, this cannot be good. This car is just... Oh, I see. Now it makes sense. And since he doesn't have any, yeah, I get to wipe him out. Got a bit of careless with my moves. I wasn't thinking straight. Yeah, that's all you can do. And he plays Monster Reborn to bring back a Search Striker. You give me X head cannon. Now I activate its effect. Discard one card, destroy a face down. And that is game. Sorry, Alistair, but in the anime, in and it is a draw. Not this time. After the duel with Alistair, Kaiba went to Pegasus' company, Industrial Illusion, to look for answers. There he encountered Yugi and his friends. Kaiba! Oh, great. Any sign of Pegasus? Uh-uh. I'm afraid we were too late. That's right. Believe it or not, my Valentine got to him before we did. She took his soul with some more Kalkos thing. Pegasus? Not quite. It's a hologram. Yugi boy, at least I hope it's you that found this room. If you're hearing this, that could only mean the gentlemen who were after my soul were finally able to capture me. So please listen closely. This is it. It all began when a mysterious man tried to bite out my company. But there's more. This individual possesses an ancient power stronger than any I've seen. And his name is Darts. Who's Darts? He's trying to resurrect the most terrifying beast ever to roam the earth. The Great Leviathan by draining the souls of man and beast. If his plan works, Darts will have succeeded in unleashing a truly devastating power, but likes of which he has not been seen for 10,000 years. Time is running out. My cute little duel monsters will soon be gone along with the rest of the world. Only you can save those poor creatures that made my game famous. Yeah, that's another one done. Now we move for Joey versus Valor fighting for a friend. Joey chased after one of the robbers, Valen. I know that guy. He's the one that took my. Right, you are, mate. Look, pal, I want my back. Then why chase me? She happens to have a mind of her own, you know? She did. At least she did before you guys brainwashed her. You don't get it, mate. No one was brainwashed. I chose to join her side with her own free will. You want to know why? She was sick of taking a backseat while you got all the fight. Then I stepped in and changed all that. You messed with her head. That's what you did. She was one of my best friends, but the last time I saw her, she was saying things that Mai would never say. 
Wake up, Wheeler. I let you here to get rid of you for good, because Mai can't be happy with you around. And what does that mean? You're a constant reminder of what her life used to be, and Mai wants to forget all that. But as long as you still exist in this world, she'll never be able to forget. So I'm here to erase you for good. Plus, I know that deep down, Mai still loves you, and I can't have that. So what do you say, Wheeler? Do we have ourselves a duel or not? Not that I'm giving you much of a choice. I never back down from a challenge, especially when I'm fighting for a friend. Now it's duel! Yep, that was in a four-part episode that started off simple with Joey versus Valen, but ended with a weakened Joey trying to defeat Mai in a weakened state, only to lose. He was too exhausted to even finish. The Claw of Hermos. Now let's see what's in my thing. We have the Time Magic Hammer, the Rocket Hermos Cannon, and the Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword. Yep, activate the effect of Marauding Captain. Summon Alligator Sword. There's also Ritual Masters. Lord of the Red. All right, Valen. Oh, you now you decide to bring the Seal of Orichalcos in before. One for one. And he summons Despot 001. Then you summon Despot 003. And Despot 002. Yep, he's pretty much gonna wipe me out in less than a few turns. Jeez. I thought this guy would actually have a different deck. to summon Rocket Warrior. Sakuretsu Armor! Yep, I got whooped bad. Yeah, I did mention that this is also the final episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! campaign. And he summons another Despot. And I get wiped really easily. Damn it. Jeez. You can chain the effect of Lord of the Red to destroy a card your opponent controls. He's running desk bots. Sheesh. So I go first, huh? All right, let's see what I got in my hand. Ritual Art, Red Eye Spirit, Graceful Charity, Pre-Preparation of Rites, add one from your deck in hand, and one game is listed on that Ritual spell. You can only activate one Pre-Preparation of Rites every turn. Red Eye's Transmigration, and Lord of the Red. Now I activate Advanced Ritual Art. Red Eyes Black Dragon, and a Flamvel card. I'll need that Dark Hole in case he decides to, like, I don't know, binge. Oh, that's nice. Red Eyes Transmigration. Summon Marauding Captain of the Field and activate its effect. And set this in defense mode. 
Now that's a good hand. Sorry, but no steal of Ori Calcos for you. Once per turn, when a card effect is activated, choose choice number two. No, don't chain anything. Meaning you're not summon. Oh, he gets to summon. He can only activate this effect once per turn. He gets the pawn of duality. So what does he get? Despot. Nuts, why did I activate it? Fine. Yeah, but you can only choose like one of the two different effects. Now he starts with Despot 004. No, 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 no. How about this? Breakthrough skill! And then, for good measure, Red Eye Spirit. Replace monster that I mistakenly destroy with this one. But serious question, why would you attack my monster when I have higher defense points? There you go. And now he summons another one. Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon. Oh, I see. Now to wipe it out. No, don't activate effects this time. I need a scar. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Why you destroy my red eyes? It says it takes no battle damage. You can only activate this effect once per battle. Fine, activate Breakthrough Skill. Continue to attack. That's better. This entire deck's one confusing little mess. Nuts! My Lord of the Red! Fine, I release Flambel Guard to summon Jinzo. Now without any extra monsters, you're stuck. Good idea. And what makes it even better is that you can't play any traps. Now it's us. Oh wait, I can't activate it, that's okay. I'll hold on to it in case Jinzo goes down. Yeah, I'm on the clock here. This ba these battles are gonna get tough. And I promise I will see this all through to the end.
He destroys my Jinzo by getting more powerful. Damn, these despots are annoying. Whose total levels equal eight or more. Nuts, I can't attack it. Nothing I can do. And he summons an ancient gearbox. Uh-uh. How about I banish it instead? Dimensional prison! Again. Why do these guys why does this despot all fours are just annoying? I despise machine monsters. I should have not discarded that dark hole. Not much I can do. What a drag! Another seal of Ori Calcos. But if he plays that, it means it loses all his monsters. Six cents. This means I end up getting wrecked again. I choose three and four. Four? Well, what do you know? And I'm not even going to get a chance to use what I've got. Nice. Getting wrecked again. This is the third time now i got to fight. Doesn't waste any time. Now I activate Red Eye's Transmigration. Iski <laughs> Shokan.
And he destroys it. Wait, I'm not done yet. Bring back Dread Eyes Transmigration, Lord of the Red. much for that. How about I do this instead? Breakthrough skill negates your effects. Now you can't summon. They destroy each other. Appropriate. Guess I gotta keep on using Lord of the Red. No. Damage condenser. Machine duplication. Terraforming. He goes for terraforming. He doesn't have anything. He doesn't have any monsters in his hand. Good, now I can go on the attack. Good. Now he plays Damage Condenser. Now what's he gonna do? Ancient Gearbox. Why would you do that? To quote Thrall, that was a mistake. You're right, it was. Let's chain Lord of the Red's effect. Get rid of that. No. What I did that? Oh wait, no need to worry. No need to worry because this game's done. I win. I'm being so careless. Thank God. You did it. You won. Goodbye, Mai. It's my fault. Don't be silly, Mai. I caused my own downfall. I thought if I won, I could make you forget about Joey Wheeler. But now I understand why he meant so much to you. The guy's got heart. Look what the Ori Calicos dragged in. My former employee. Now it's Miss Valentine's turn to send me a soul. Or to give up her own. <laughs> How could he do this? Valen's the one who told me I have to duel for myself. Then he turns around and fights you to protect me? How pathetic. He deserved this. Hold on. Now it may have annoyed me. 
but no one deserves to have their soul taken away and then held captive by some power-hungry psychopath. I don't care who they are. Ha! You know what, Mai? As long as that Orikalkos thing has control over your mind, I'll never be able to talk sense in you. As a matter of fact, the only way I can save you at this point is to duel you. Try saving yourself. I'm just doing fine without your help. Didn't you learn? If you cramp my style, you end up in a wall of hurt. I understand everything now, Mai. You forgot what dueling's all about. So I'm here to remind you about the heart of the cards. If you think you're going to teach me a lesson about dual left monsters, you're wasting your time. The Seal of Ori Kalkos. Exhausted from his last duel with Valen, Joey was unable to finish the duel. Congratulations. You win. I'm too exhausted to finish. You're wrong. I never attacked, so you didn't lose the duel. I won't let the Ori Kalkos take you away, Joey. It's too late for that. I already lost the duel, so there's no turning back. I'm just glad that if one of us had to lose our soul, it didn't have to be you, Mai. Joey! No! Mai broke free of Dart's influence over her, but Joey's soul is captured by the Orichalcos. How could I be so selfish? You're the closest friend I ever had, and how did I repay you? By leaving you for a madman who promised me power. I'll make him regret the day he met my Valentine. No way. What happened? He lost the duel. Wait, does that mean... Yes. His soul belongs to Darts now. That fight was a pain in the keister. Now grappling with a guardian. Yugi and his friends found Joey, but it was too late. Joey's soul had been taken by the Orichalcos. What's going on here? Don't you see? Joey must have defeated Valen and Mai showed up. She did this to him, I'm sure of it. That's true. However, there's only one person we can really blame for all of this. And I think you know who I mean. He hides safely in his fortress while others do his dirty work. Well, not anymore. Yugi arrived at Dart's fortress, Paradia's headquarters, and found an unconscious Mai. Mai, say something. She must have been in the duel and appears she lost. Both the duel and her soul. I must put an end to this. It's about time you showed up. That doesn't concern you, Raphael. I'm here to see Dart's. Is your master so much of a coward that he sent you to do his battles for him? Not quite. But first, why don't you take this? It's the Claw of Hermos, Joey's card. So you're the one who defeated Joey, aren't you? Actually, might be Joey that I defeated her. But why? Wasn't Mai on your side? I never trusted her, and it turns out I was right all along. After she took, she took Joey's soul, she turned on us. Biggest mistake she ever made. Wake up! Can't you see that your so-called Master Darts is just using you to satisfy his own selfish needs? If you really want to save the world, then stop fighting me and join my side. As soon as the great beast is revived, I'm afraid your side will no longer exist, Pharaoh. All it needs is to get started is one more strong soul. And the sacred seal of Ori Kalkos will take care of that once I take you down. The winner leaves a free man, and the loser becomes a prisoner to the beast. You're on. If that's what it takes to set my friends free, then let's duel. And once you're out of my way, I can go straight for darts. The three-part episode, Grappling with a Guardian. This was actually Yugi's second battle with Raphael because the first, let's just say Yugi awoke the darkness within him and that ended up really bad for him. To the point where Kaiba just slammed the phone in his face. Brother, he hung up on his face. Okay, where do I start things off? Fine. Let's start off with a graceful charity. Let's get rid of Card of Sanctity, too. Not much I can do here. Now we're fighting Raphael. It's a fierce battle. Arsenal Summoner. Uh-huh, go on. He had a gravity axe. You're gonna keep discarding cards. You're lucky you don't even have guardian treasure. Wait, this guy's got three graceful charities in his hand? And don't attack.
<laughs> okay, first things first. Let's give her that annoying little face now that we gotta deal with. Yep, hidden armory. Send the top card of your deck, add one equip spell. You cannot normal summon or set this turn. The card is played. I sacrifice Electromagnetic Turtle to summon Dark Magician Girl. Now to take the fight to Raphael. No, I'm not activating the trap yet. Ah, yeah, because there is a Dark Magician in my graveyard, which means I get an additional 300 attack and defense points. And it, all, and it also is also for Magician of Black Chaos, not Dark Magician of Chaos. The Eye of Tamias. Let's do this. Release this. And summon Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. Wait, it fuses with itself. While this happens, I summon King's Knight to the field. I swear, if I had Link Monsters, then I could really get creative. Add one equipped spell from your deck. Celestial Sordiatos. And he has to bring out the seal. He just had to bring it out, didn't he? Why are you gonna do this? Fine, I summon Curry Bandit. Guardian Alma. No, because I only have about a few battles left and I'm done here. There you go. Yeah, activate its effect. Jack. King. Big shield. Graceful charity and magical hats. Yes. This fight's over no matter how you look at it. Two face downs? Three? He's got something up his sleeves. I know it in my gut. He has something up his sleeves. What is he trying to pull here? That was a bluff. Darts fed you lies. And in a moment of weakness, you allow your heart to be consumed by the dark magic of Riori Kalkos. Uh, but I could tell that the real you was still in there, fighting to break free. I knew what I had to do. Forced you to face the darkness. You're right. Thank you. I get it now. Everyone I turned my back on is still there and they'll always be with me. Hey, the seal is gone! Where'd it go? Doesn't it usually put on a big green laser shell? Yeah, and it usually takes someone's soul too. So how are you still here? I'm lost. I have a theory. The Seal of Ori Calcos is powered by the darkness within the person who plays it. But Raphael was able to conquer that darkness. So my soul is spared. I'm free. Two duels left. We get Guardian Iatos. Now we fight against Darts. After defeating Raphael, Yugi finally met Darts face to face. 
darts. You were expecting someone else? Well, due to the carelessness of my employees, I'm the only one left. You can't find good help these days. Look, I want my company back, so can the small talk. Is that so? Well, guess what? We all want something. As for me, I want your souls. For the last time, release our friends. That's not possible. What do you mean? I mean, they've already been put to use. As we speak, their life energy supplies power to the most devastating creature that ever lived. Oh great, now what? My 10,000 year old collection is almost complete. Once I get yours, my beast can rise. Hold on, you've been collecting souls for all those years? Do you know how many lives you've destroyed? <laughs> Millions! So some of these people live in the past? Now you're catching on. Ever since the great Leviathan was laid to rest, I've been gathering the energy necessary to fuel its rebirth. Come on, you expect us to believe that junk? Ye of little faith, just duel, the, duel me, and I promise I'll make a believer out of you. For when you lose, there will be no denying my power. And that one was a six-parter. Truth is, it's actually eight parts instead of six. It was a six-parter at first, but then the other two parts was meant to conclude it. And what, like I said, it wasn't in the manga. And Darts is only one of the few people that can upgrade the Seal of Orikalkos to make it even more devastating. Let's see, Seal of Orikalkos, Deuteros, and Tritos. Let's see what I got. He starts off with the Seal, not surprising. He also summons Dark Valkyria. I don't have Legend of Heart, and I don't have any of them. Well, I better get cracking. Aha! Legend of Heart. Pay 2,000 and tribute one warrior monster, then banish up to three legendary spells with different names from hand to your graveyard. And if you do, special summon that many legendary knights with different causes from hand deck. You can only activate one Legend of Heart rebirth per turn. I need a warrior monster! I have all three dragons. Oh, Mirror Force. Nice. You're filling me with too many spell cards. Can I get a warrior, please? Oh, I can do. Sorry, but you proved out to be useless. Fine, let's summon Big Shield Gardner. And then activate Legend of Heart. I have all three after all. One. Two. Three. We start with Legendary Knight Tamias, who looks exactly like Yugi. Then, Legendary Knight Hermos, who looks like Joey. And then Critias, who has Legendary Knight. Well, you can guess. Nice, I have all three effects. Tamias, you can target, banish that target, right? Deny, Tamias banishes the Ori Calcos. Hermos, you can target also one face up no. No. Gridius is the same thing. So much for your seal. And this unlocks the Knight of Destiny. Dimensional prison! He banishes one and activates a safe zone. You're still gonna take direct damage! That's the problem! Come on, Darts! You need to do better than this! Be better than this! You banish all my monsters, and for what? What was the point of that? No. No, I need more monsters in order to get rid of this clown. Oh, 
Wow, how foul. How absolutely foul you have to be. I'll set this face down. That's it. I should have actually summoned the Knight of Destiny. That would have been more hilarious. Fine. Wow, a second Dark Hole. How cheap do you have to be, man? Good. Now let's now let's watch and wait the magic. I know someone in the comments is gonna be saying like, "How come you didn't swan the Night of Destiny, dude?" I had no idea. Oh, hello, Mirror Force. We meet again. I'll set you face down on the field. Oh, the Gene Warped Werewolf. No. Let him take damage. Alright, that's one. Wow, he's actually smart for a change. Good. Cannot be destroyed in battle by a monster with more than 1,900 attack points. Fine, I summoned Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Yeah, your Seal of Ori Calcos went bye-bye. Oh, a Venom Cobra. And that's a smart idea. Activate its effect. Wait, cannot be destroyed in battle by a monster with more than 1900. I'll take damage, but I'll withstand it. I'm gonna wait until he forces all his monsters into attack mode. Ojama Trio? Oh, so that's his game. Oh, so that's your game. Are you trying? That's what he's trying to do. He stealed off my monsters. Oh, goody. Alexandrite Dragon. No. I take 300. I take effect damage. Two mirror forces. I'll hold on to one in my hand just in case he tries anything. Now the waiting game. All three at once. You are such a predictable fool. Mirror force! Bye, bye, bye. You lost all your monsters, so that was a waste. Wasted effort darts. Nuts. Target one dart magician you control. Okay. Then let's do it. Release two monsters. Big Shield Gardna and Alpha. I'll set this face down to be safe. And then activate the Eye of Tamias. Take Dark Magician and form Amulet Dragon. Yeah, they can't even show it to Maya's fusing, so now you have Amulet Dragon on the field. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, they also include cards from his graveyard, too.
Now the question is, when is his face down? By a hundred points. And in case something does happen, I can special summon my Dark Magician to finish the job. Now this waiting is killing me. I don't have any. This game is done. You summon the Alexandrite Dragon. No. Better idea. Have him destroy it. Nice knowing ya. Sorry, darts. You lose, darts. Your 10,000 year quest is finally over. It can't be. I've come too close. All I need is one more powerful soul, and the great Leviathan shall arise from the depths of the earth. Too little too late. Your serpent has been destroyed. And with that, our duel comes to an end. Now release the souls of my friends and everyone else you held captive. Yeah. Darts failed to capture Yami Yugi's soul, but Darts merged his own with his Leviathan to revive the beast. Powered by the light of his friends, Yugi retrieved his stolen Egyptian god cards and defeated Darts and his Leviathan once and for all. Hey look, I guess the gods did pull through. Told ya, that means everyone Darts captured is free! Is it really all over? Yup, we're safe now. Let's hit the high road, folks. I'm sure there's someone else trying to take over the world back home. You know, the scary thing is, he's probably right. And now we reach the final video, so it means we're skipping the Grand Championship and most of Dawn of the Duel. Why? And now, we finish it. Now that the Pharaoh saved the world, aside from a few other things, there was one last thing he had to do, move on to the afterlife. Guided by Marek, Ishizu, and Odeon, the team went to an underground temple that housed a gateway to the afterlife. To open it, the Pharaoh had to seal away the Egyptian gods and the seven millennium items, and have one final duel. A ritual duel against Yugi. The duel would determine whether Yugi could now stand on his own as his own man and not need the Pharaoh's help anymore. This is the first time in my life that I had hoped for my opponent's victory. But in order for this duel to truly test our readiness to separate, I must fight with all of my strength. Pharaoh, now that you left the Millennium Puzzle, I can't hear your thoughts anymore. But somehow I still know what you're thinking, and I feel the same way. If you taught me anything, it's to put your heart into your deck and duel with everything you've got. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. And once this is done, that's it for the Yu-Gi-Oh! campaign. I'm done with it probably for good. Until we move on to GX, that I just want to at least take one day off so I can get myself ready. Just letting you know that right now. Let's get ourselves started. And look at this, we have what we need to start on the offensive. Let's level it up. We go from level 4 to level 8 unaffected by your opponent's spell effects. That ends my turn. Meaning that you can't use Dark Hole to destroy it. But he'll probably use Mirror Force. And cannot be special summoned by other ways. I'm holding on a Monster Reborn. Ooh, that's beautiful. Let's set this face down. Play the swords of revealing light. Oh, it's Gazelle. Activate yellow gadget's effect to add green gadget. Once you get green gadget, then you have red gadget, and then you can summon all three. Can't do much, right? I knew it! God damn it! As predicted! This guy is a predictable fool! What he does not realize is that I always come prepared! 
I special summon the Summon Skull. He just had to have that Mirror Force on the field, really? You had to have it! This is the last duel in the game and you had to pull stuff like this? Dude, just, dude. Let me guess, he has another Mirror Force on the face down the field. I know it. Stronghold the Moving Fortress in defense mode. Nice, Silent Swordsman level 3. Summon Green Gadget and then activate Red Gadget. And then with Red, you summon Yellow. Another Mirror Force! Dude! You are the very definition of cheat, man. But you can't attack me for three turns. That's your problem? Oh, you summoned the Tricky. That's not enough for you, isn't it? Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction. I'll have to summon this. Hang on a sec. Just great. Hold on a sec, I'll be right back. Sorry about this. Anyway, it's time for us to continue. And since I have like, what, one more turn? May as well, since I am going to be getting a stronger monster in exchange. <sighs> yeah, Yugi has no fusion cards. And you give up half your life points for this? He summons the Dark Magician. you can do, right? Yeah, level up. But I'm afraid... Oh, wait, I have level 5. But unfortunately, I can't have him much longer. There's only one way I gotta do this. Summon Gandora. The Dragon of Destruction. I give up half my life points to activate it. Now when all of your main monsters banished. Good. You did your job well, Gandora. Thank you. And he has nothing! Without your monsters to save you, you're suck. Activate Gold Sarcophagus. This will have to do. Now I summon Red Gadget. Let's hope we can finish this. Using Gandor was the only smart move I had. Otherwise, my entire field would have been whooped. He's got nothing. Good. That's one turn down. If I can just buy one more turn, this game is mine.
Oh, cute. You just delaying the inevitable. Thank you. I can't summon too many. So this will have to do for the time being. Wait, since I have Silent Swordsman level 5, this one's unaffected. I can't do the battle phase, so this is all I can do for now. Very good. Yeah, Silent Swordsman level 5 is immune. I'll switch them both to defense mode. If he doesn't summon another monster in the next turn, I win. This guy. Come on, let me win for goodness sake. It's already three turns now. I gotta beat this guy and fast. What is he planning? Hold on to this. Yep, this game is done. Congratulations. Well done. Yugi, you have achieved a great victory for us both. I was focusing so hard on playing the game that I forgot winning this duel would actually mean. By defeating you, I've sent you away for good. No, you have opened the door for me. Thanks to you, my spirit can finally be at rest once again. I'll be back where I belong. Fate brought the two of us together for a reason, and we fulfilled our destiny. We protected mankind from the return of the Shadow Games, and we've both grown tremendously along the way. I'm gonna miss you. You do realize we'll never truly be apart, right? The gift of kindness you've given me and the courage I've given you will remain with us, and that will forever bind us together. Right. Now that the battle ritual is complete, the Eye of Wujat that guards the door of the spirit world has awakened. And the spirit of the great pharaoh, which was trapped by, with the, within the Millennium Puzzle for 5,000 years, is now free. The time has arrived. Tell the Eye of Wujat your name. I am the son of King Aknamakanan. My name is Atem. And thus, the Yu-Gi-Oh! campaign comes to an end. Yugi returns to the afterlife, or rather the spirit of Atem. And then, the temple is sealed off. And that's where Yu-Gi-Oh! ends. Until Dark Side of Dimensions come along. But next time, we will be starting Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And GX is gonna be interesting. Let's check how many we got. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, dear God, that's a lot. 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. This one is from season four. When we get to that, I will be talking about it. But yeah, that is gonna be it for this. I will see you when we do the GX campaign. If you enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. All this helps out. I will see you next time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.